Hey guys, and welcome back to my little corner where today we are throwing this horrible look together. I mean, I'm not even kidding. This is definitely not the best look I've ever done. Do you see these wings? It goes so wrong. So wrong. But today we did try out some new products. Some of my ColourPop babies that I've had for a little bit but haven't gotten to use very much of them with you guys. The new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation as well as Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. So if you guys want to be really, really awesome, grab your makeup, grab a cup of coffee, grab some tea, grab a friend, and hang out with me and let's put our makeup on together. I always push record and then grab my coffee. <laughs> okay, ladies, let's get started. I have my shiny headband on. I feel like I have been transported to the 80s. <laughs> For concealer, I got this uh, Illuminating Concealer Be Bright by Koki. I'm going to conceal my eyes with it as well as, you know, anything else I would normally use concealer for. I have never tried Koki. It came in one of my subscriptions, so let's just give this bad boy a shot. This is in the shade Medium Beige. This actually isn't as dark as it looks in the tube. That was probably too much. It's a different sofa than I'm used to. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M536 to just place that on my lean as usual. Holy crap guys, we made it to a thousand subscribers. I honestly did not think that we were gonna get there this soon. I mean, it's not even July yet. My That was my year in goal. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my silly little videos, for hanging out with me, for commenting for being a good friend. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I mean, as far as how it's doing on the lids, it's similar to my shape tape. It doesn't feel, well, it feels a little tacky. Um, I don't think it's as full coverage as my shape tape, but we'll see when we really get to the concealing part. I thought for eyeshadows today that we would jump in and use some of my color pops. So I have Prickly Pear and Brady. They're the two shades that I grabbed today to use on my eyes as far as my ColourPop shadows. They're upside down, but you get the drift. I have actually used this Brady quite a bit. Um, it's the matte shade. It's kind of a purpley color. I like it a lot, obviously, or else I wouldn't be using it today. <laughs> so first I'm gonna dip into this shade, which is Brady, and put that in my crease with my Morphe R325. Totally just dropped Brady. Brady just rolled on the floor. Okay, now that I got Brady off the floor, let's pop this bad boy into my crease. Um, I do still use a brush with the shimmer shadows. It seems like you do get better pigment if you put it on your finger. And I bet you would with these, but I'm not really good at placing them with my finger, especially because of my nails. Even though they're shorter now than they were, I had them cut down. Okay, ladies, here we go. It almost looks more pinky than purpley once you get it on your lid. But look at that. I mean, like, I love how pigmented these shadows are. They still blend very well, even though they're creamy. They're awesome. I think I'm actually just going to put this, I'm going to go a little different today and put this all over the lid and then just put the shimmer shadow where I want it on top. I've never tried this before. I almost always do my eye makeup the same exact way, just um, different shades. So, I don't know. Try something different, right? As much as I like the shimmer shadows, I feel like they do need like a little bit of pigment underneath them. Otherwise, it looks like my skin with glitter on it. It's definitely different than what we're used to. So now I'm gonna grab prickly pear and I'm gonna pop that on my lid. Should I try using my finger? Let's try using my finger. You see what I mean? It's just, you get a little bit of pigment with this one. But for the most part, it's just shimmer. But yeah. These are very easy to apply. I really, really wanna grow my ColourPop shadow collection. Cause I do love them. They don't, they don't mess around. Cruelty free, made in America. You can't get much better than the brand ColourPop. I really, really want to try their foundation. Has anybody else bought their foundation yet and tried it and can let me know if it's awesome or not? I've had it in my shopping cart for like a week now, trying to decide if I was gonna purchase or not it's ever since it launched. 
I did also bring the Candyman highlighter down here because I feel bad. When me and Isabella were using these, when we were swatching them, we were like, that doesn't even look like a highlighter. I'd have to use that as an eyeshadow. So I've noticed since then when I actually used it the right way and just like lightly mm, on the face, it is like beautiful, sparkly, gorgeous, not too dark. I love it. I'm gonna do my eyeliner with the Pretty Vulgar and my nice little uh, brush because I just cleaned this. I used it yesterday and I actually did, I did wings. And my wings didn't look horrible. I was very proud of myself. Maybe we'll do a bit of a wing today. A baby wing. A newborn fairy wing. Look at this. Ah, did you guys see that? Ooh. I'll fix it. What did I do? I did so good yesterday, so I should have known today was going to go terribly wrong. We're gonna leave it like that until I can go in and fix it. I know it looks crazy. So worst get ready with me ever. <laughs> That's it, I'm just not meant to have wings. You know, part of it is like, it's really hard to see through my lashes and the other part of it is I'm just a klutz and not good at things. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Cause I feel like <laughs> I should not have used this today. I should have used my pretty easy pen. We're gonna fix this with my pretty easy pen. I don't know, some days I do better with the pretty vulgar set and other days are like today where it's a good. much for a little bitty wing. Hopefully throughout the course of doing my makeup, I can fix my eyes a little bit better because that looks crazy. For foundation today, I'm a little bit worried that this is too dark, but I've got the uh, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made M10. It is. It claims to be a 12 hour wear. It's got a pump. That's really exciting. I hate foundations that don't have a pump. Well, I don't hate them. That's a strong word. I dislike them. Okay, I'm gonna use my Cover FX uh, Blurring Primer, but here lately I've only been using that in the spots that I have big old gigantic pores. So right here, right here, need more, right here, just to where it kind of fills in my pores. And then once I get those areas covered really well, I just kind of use a little bit extra on my face. Try to push it in instead of like smearing it around. I try to push it into my pores. But don't listen to me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Look at these wings. <laughs> do whatever you want. Don't listen to me. Just do whatever you want. Foundation time. Let's put this stuff on. Um, I guess I'm gonna put it on my hand. 
Actually, the shade's not bad. It's not as dark as I thought it was. Let's see. This is one pump. Okay, let's get just a little bit more of like half a pump. I ran out of dots. And I have a feeling we'll probably have to do a little bit more. But we'll see. So my husband's currently at Walmart and he's trying to find something fun for the kids to do outside today because my kids this summer, let me know if your kids are like this, but my kids staying up too late, sleeping in too late, and too much time on the tablets and phones. Too much time. So we're trying to rectify that by giving them more things to do outside. So Grandpa Wayne offered them $5 every time they give Rico a bath. And we've had like a standing thing where we would give them money if they crush our aluminum cans. They have not done that but once. And then Chris is looking at um, water balloons and a slip and slide. So hopefully we'll have some fun today. I've been trying to vlog. I'm boring. I'm no fun. I don't do much. Guys, mm, I, I told you for so long to buy the Y6. Buy the Y7. The Y7, I, I can't even stand using the Y6 now that I have the Y7. It doesn't feel as soft and it doesn't look as airbrushed. I absolutely love this stuff. I love this brush. Please fix my face. This actually, I I literally almost bought another shade that was lighter. I think this is actually a really good shade on me. Especially right now while I'm not that tan. I don't know about the finish though. It seems very light coverage. Do we go at it with some oil, shall we? It says it's full coverage, doesn't it? Doesn't say anything about its coverage. It does not. It does not claim to be full coverage. It just says it's an oil-free formula, comfort matte finish, 12-hour wear, transfer resistant. My husband would like that. I get makeup on him all the time. All right, this time I'm just putting it on my hand, getting it on my brush and we'll try it this way. Definitely needed another coat. So I'm going to try just kind of blending it out with a beauty blender. Let's get this wet. I'm going to use my mineral water spray by number seven. I'm almost out of it. My husband actually for Christmas, like he pays really good attention. For Christmas he like restocked me on a lot of the products that I use on the regular and that was one of them. And then he bought he knew he knows like the shade of lipstick by mac that i wore on our wedding day he bought that for me i mean like he's so sweet he is so sweet like he didn't just buy me makeup he bought me makeup that means something he bought me the perfume i wore on our wedding day which is now discontinued so we like have to look look for it but i love putting it on it always reminds me of our wedding day you know how scents kind of take you back it always does i'm always like mm. I feel pretty when I put it on because God, I was the prettiest I will ever be on my wedding day. Okay, my makeup looks kind of boopy today, but we're gonna keep on moving. So I'm gonna use that Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the same places that I would normally shave tape. And maybe a little extra around that area. Yeah, I don't know, it looks patchy too. I don't know. I am such like a creature of habit. Once I find something that I like, I use it to death. And I'm like that with food too. Like when I find something that I really like to eat, I will eat it until I'm like tired of it. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender. I don't think my makeup's looking that good to me. It looked so good yesterday. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, <laughs> Oh God, I need help. Why don't you guys just come and do my makeup for me? Just one of you guys, one of my local girls, just come do my makeup for me. Oh. As far as that concealer, mm, it's definitely not gonna get used as much as my shape tape. I just happen to like my shape tape more. Um, trying to figure out how to fix my wings. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a pencil. Let's try using the Hikari eye pencil that I like so much. This stuff is like super soft. Hopefully she'll save the day.
I'm gonna set my face because I totally forgot. One of the things I've been doing is taking my beauty blender, rubbing it in my um, Reserve Your Cabana, and then kind of lightly baking underneath my eyes, although I don't know how this is gonna work today with this concealer. But yeah, kind of leaving that there. This is how my day is going. It's not been a good day. We're gonna put that back and pretend nothing happened. Luckily, I already have a um, backup upstairs, so I'm just gonna try to get some of that on the rest of my face, hopefully. Don't kick it back out of the pan. I cannot believe, I've been such a klutz lately. If you watch my Stitch Fix video, that gorgeous like gray top, somehow I got bleach on it. I wasn't even cleaning with bleach. I picked up some end dust and was dusting my bedroom and I looked down and there's a big bleach spot. So I'm guessing there was some bleach on the end dust or when I was getting it, I touched it. Either way, there was a little bleach spot. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna cry about it anymore. Um, <laughs> and I grabbed some bleach and just kind of spritzed it with bleach to make it look like purposefully bleached. Um, and that didn't really turn out great because I didn't have a spray bottle. I used like a squirter thing. So it looks like polka dots now instead of bleach splatters. So I've got to fix that. I'm going to try another bleaching and we'll see what happens. And maybe I'll wear it for you guys in an upcoming video. By upcoming, I mean like three weeks from now because I have so many videos that um, are edited and ready to go up like a few four or five more that are still needing to be edited and then I have three to film I mean like I'm getting too many videos for the amount of times that I post each week so boxy charm ipsy is probably gonna be late I'm gonna try and do those earlier next month even if I have to move them up in the line um, I try to keep my videos in order but it's just not working out for me so say so lovey um, I'm going to grab my big crown brush and just push that excess out. Make sure we're good. We don't have any big powdery bunches anywhere. I'm gonna grab Brady one more time and I'm gonna put some of that in my lower lash line with this step one brush that I got from the vintage people, vintage company, I don't know. And I'm gonna try to conceal the fact that my eyeliner is cray cray little bit of this beneath. Nope, not really helping. Just still looks cray cray. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I'm using my Busy Brow Gal by Tarte. Oh, and um, you guys are gonna notice more links in these Get Ready With Me's. I'm gonna try to link the products that I use. Um, down there so that you guys can go shopping if you see something that I've used that you want to try. Just so you guys know, it is an affiliate link. So if you guys purchase anything using that link, I'll get, I think 10% is what Amazon affiliates does. Um, they're always going to be down there. Please don't ever feel like you have to use them. But if you do, it does help me, you know, just give you guys more content. Basically, I get to shop more so that I can show you more. All right, let's put some mascara on those lower lashes. I'm going to use my Better Than Sex Mascara. I have mine in mini, which I really like because I only do my lower lashes because I have lash extensions, as anybody who watches this video already knows. Because the only people that watch this video are the people that watch this video. <laughs> that normally watch my get readies with me. Get re get ready with me. Is, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about this foundation. It's definitely matte. I just don't know about the coverage. If you like a lighter coverage foundation, then this is for you. I don't. I have old skin. Cover all of it. I'm using my regular Chocolate Soleil bronzer by Too Faced and I'm going to use my Morphe R13 to pick that up. It's a little mirror that's in it. Children sound like they're wrestling upstairs <laughs> right above us. Oh, I love the way this stuff smells. I don't, as much as I love Tarte, I think these are my favorite bronzers. They're so matte, like there's not a hint of sheen to them. I'm gonna grab my small angled contour brush by e.l.f. and just hit my nose up. I 
After um, doing that cream contour, I'm not scared of bronzer at all anymore. <laughs> a little bit on the jawline. And somebody said, if you have a little bit of a double chin, connect the two and then fill in the gap. Just don't go cray cray. Because then you look like you have a bronzer beard. Maybe I should look at that while I'm doing it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna smooth out my nose now. Nothing. Like nothing is looking right today. Let's try this blush today. This is from Pretty Vulgar. It's called the Prism Vixen. It's their Make Them Blush blush. And I'm gonna go really, really light on this bad boy. Oh, it's such a pretty color. It's very pink. It's such a pretty color. Okay, I'm gonna step away from that brush, grab a clean brush. Just my Morphe Walk 1. How are you peeling off already? For highlighter, I'm just gonna use Stunner. Same old, same old. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. Try and meld in with that pink. I feel like it's just like contrasty too much. And then I'm just gonna go over it with a my Aesthetica brush. I do love this P12. It is awesome. And I can still read everything on my Aesthetica brushes. Nothing has rubbed off of those. But you know, Morphe is a little less expensive, so. Morphe is a lot less expensive. I don't know why I said a little, but yeah. Okay, I'm like, I feel bad. I'm giving myself such a hard time because now I don't think it's turning out so bad. <laughs> now it's all starting to come together. Okay, so the last thing is lips. As you guys saw last week, I got lots of lippies. So now we just gotta find one that works with this. <gasps> I, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Let's put it on top so you guys can see what this does. Let me get you real close too. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I totally forgot. So I'm just gonna get some on my finger. It does seem really, really dark in the pan, but when you put it on your face with your finger, it's not, it's not too bad. I totally forgot about this, I'm sorry guys. My husband keeps asking me what we need from the store and I keep forgetting the like real stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in here and pick out a lippy. Ooh, look at this. Have I used this yet? Ooh, white gold. Let's try this. So this is 950 white gold. This is by Maybelline. I think Maybelline has some of the best mattes. And that is really, really light. So we're gonna pop some more stuff on top of it. Quick, throw more stuff at it. So I took off the white gold because I put this on top of it and it just it didn't show what color this is this goals by Tarte so we're gonna try it without it I rub my lips a little too hard that was that pretty All right, guys, so I guess that's our look today. Um, it went so wrong. My eyes still look a little crazy. 
Um, but I'm starving to death and my husband just got home with breakfast. So I'm going to run up there and get something to eat. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, especially on a day like this where I do a horrible job of putting on my makeup. <laughs> if you guys did like this video, regardless of how this look turned out, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe before you leave. And I am sorry, normally I do a better job on my makeup than that. I do really quick want to say hello to a few of my new subscribers. It's something that I really like doing on my channel and you guys mean the world to me. You have no idea what it means when somebody subscribes to my channel. I'm like, somebody actually likes the content I'm putting out there. It really does mean a lot to me. So I just want to say hello to Poetic Songbird, Shauna, Melissa, Charnette, K-I-R-V-S, Curves, and Marianne. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and for just dealing with this face popping up in your feed four times a week at least. Other than that guys, I just hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye! I'm so disappointed in my face.